The following message is transmitted of the request of Seattle Police Department at approximately at 10 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. An electrical power failure has affected the Seattle area due to hacking incident at power grids. Electricity will be restored as possible. It is estimated that R is affecting 500 million to 700 million residents in the area. The authorities are figuring out the situation. If electricity is not restored, it is advised to use generator to power your house or use alternative light and power sources. Stay tuned on the situation. The following message is transmitted of the request of the Vancouver Police Department. At approximately at 4 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, more power outages are affecting from the state of Washington in the United States from yesterday due to hacking incident to power station and grids. Power will be restored as possible. The authorities are figuring out this situation. If power doesn't come back, use generator or use alternative light and power sources. There are 800 million residents in the province. Stay tuned on this situation. The following message is transmitted of the request of the Vancouver Police Department at approximately a 4 a.m. Pacific Daylight Team. More power outage are affecting from the state of Washington in the United State from yesterday due to a king incident to power station in Gris. Poe will be restored as possible, the authorities are figuring out this situation, if Poe de un come back, use generator, or use alternative light on Poe source, there are 800 million residents in the province, stay tuned on this situation. Nine one one telephone emergency outage. The following message is transmitted of the request of the Portland Police Department. This is not a test, and another hacking incident has occurred. The nine one one number will not be in service for at least three hours. Emergency medical services, fire departments, and police will be not available due to the ongoing cyber attack. Customers at Portland and the Seattle area will not able to nine one one for emergency assistance. It is advised to call on a cellular phone, as landlines will not work. Work. The extended outage will last for at least three hours. EMS and fire services will also not be available. Please call 5680037 for the police. Call 6879512634467 for the EMS. The following message is transmitted of the request of the Public Safety of Canada, this is not a test, at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the Kincardine Bruce Power Plant suffered a meltdown which released toxic and radioactive materials into the atmosphere, the Kincardine Police Department urges that citizens stay indoors until further notice, avoid contracting with the materials, do not go outside for any reason, as contracting, the materials will lead to lung damage or even death, stay. Tuned and stay indoors. The following message is transmitted of a request of the Public Safety of Canada. This is not a test. At 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the Kincardin Bruce Power Plant suffered a meltdown which released toxic and radioactive material into the Atmosphere, the Kincardin Police Department urged that citizens stay indoor until 14 notice, avoid contracting with the material, do not go outside for any reason, a contracting, the material will lead to lung damage or even death, stay.
Tu n'aides à ne stay un d'or. The following message is transmitted of the request of the U.S. Cyber Command, this is not a test, around 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, electrical grid has been outages due to the outgoing cyber attack, these cities include, Los Angeles, Pasadena, Torrance, San Fernando Valley, Culver City, West Hollywood, and Raymer, the 911 calls are not available, power will be back as possible, if power doesn't come. Use generator, or alternative lighter to light up your house, you can call 911 on a cellular phone, as landlines will not work, the 911 outage will last for 2 hours, Wi-Fi will not be available, such as laptops and tablets, electrical power failure is unknown, and currently under investigation, stay tuned for this situation. This message for all Boston residents, please stand by. This message is for all Boston residents, please stand by. At approximately at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the city of Boston has been affected due to an ongoing cyber attack. The 911 call has been outage due to too many 911 calls. Fire department, police, and EMS are not available. The power outage is unknown. If you can call 911. Calls, landlines will not work, international travels from Massachusetts and to Massachusetts are suspended, power will become back as soon possible, government broadcast channels including the emergency alert system have been destabilized due to the ongoing cyber attack, if power doesn't come back, use alternative light, or generator to light up your home, the outage is affecting between 600 to 800 people in the area. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing situation. The following message is transmitted of the request of the Federal Management Agency. This is not a test. At 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the Santa Susana power plant has suffered a meltdown, which released gas and radioactive materials into the atmosphere. The Los Angeles Police Department are urging anyone to stay indoors until further notice. To avoid contracting the materials, do not go outside for any reason as contracting the materials will lead to lung damage, and even death, stay tuned on this situation, and stay indoors. The following message is transmitted of the request of the Seattle Police Department, at approximately at 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. The cyber attackers, which had caused several hacks on these major cities, including, Seattle, Portland, Los Angeles, and Boston, has been shut down. The power is now restored back. Due to this, the nationwide hack for the cyber attack is over, and you may continue, your daily life, repeating. The cyber tax has been shut down for life and all residents may continue your daily life. Seattle Police Department, thank you for your cooperation during this emergency.
The following message is transmitted of the request of the Toronto Police Department, at approximately at 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the cyber attackers, which had caused three cities, including Vancouver, Kincardine, and Toronto, has been shut down. The power is now back, and residents may continue your daily life, do this, the attacks are over, repeating, the cyber attacks has been shut down, Toronto Police Department, thank you for your cooperation during this emergency. The following message is transmitted of a request of the Toronto Police Department. At approximately at 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the cyberattacker, which had caused three cities, including Vancouver, Kincardine, and Toronto, has been shut down. The power is now back, and residents may continue your daily life, do this. The attack are over, repeating, the cyberattack has been shut down, Toronto Police Department. Thank you for your cooperation during this emergency. <coughs>